Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on Brand Channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's 9th Avenue in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to use the raster calculator tool in RGS Pro to carry out some extractions from our digital elevation model, right? Good. So we are trying to look for a better color ramp. Okay. Good. So we want to extract um, some elevation values based on the range of elevation we have here so we have about 174 to 1213 so we want to extract elevation values within this range right good so let's come back to the geoprocessing tool and then search for raster calculator so we have the raster calculator there I'll float it. Now we want to write the expression. So we open a bracket. Then we say we are the digital elevation model. That's what we have here. Then we use the operator. Let's say greater than 500, right? Good. So we close our bracket back. And then we have what, um, a valid expression, right? Good. So we are trying to create what, um, um Rasta from the digital elevation model rather. Um, the elevations that are greater than 500 so good we have an output and then the output has what values of zeros and ones right good now the one represents those values that are greater than 500 and then the zero represents every other value right good now you know this gives you just two numbers or maybe two values right good so we have the zeros and ones that's a um, binary now we want to have it as what um the range of values we have here for the initial um digital elevation model so what do we do still come back to the raster calculator this time around we now multiply this our product or this our expression we multiply it by what the original digital elevation model right good so let's call this two so that we can have what a new output raster so now this um will now multiply the zeros and ones that we have gotten earlier or maybe that this particular part of the expression would give by what the original digital elevation model so the values that are zero which in the first output where those values that are not greater than 500 would be assigned what a no data value so let's run good so we have um, another output and this time around you can see this first output overlays perfectly on what the the second rather overlays perfectly on the first output the difference is that this has what values ranging from 0 to 1213 now the zero here represents 500 right because we have tried to say instead of starting from the 174 we are trying to start from 500 so what this second raster defines or what it describes is that it has what elevation values that are ranging from 500 to, to 1213 unlike the original one that has elevation values that are ranging from 174 up to what um 1213 right good and then it's completely different from the first one which we got that just gave us what two values that are what that are either zeros and ones so now in this um, other raster which is the um raster that covers from 500 to 1213 you can see values that are 600 you can see values that are 700 800 because they are actually what greater than 500 but you can't see values that are 499 because what they are less than 500 so that's what this represents so if we decide to also maybe work on the color ramp just for um aesthetic purpose we can have something like this which now gives us what um the zeros and the ones right good so this part are a bit higher but a bit lower of what the 500 right good so um we have shown you two methods on how to go about this um, extraction from what your digital elevation model one output gives you zeros and ones and then the other one gives you what the range of values that them um, falls within what the zeros and ones so you can explore what the raster calculator to to see how you can um, generate them um, more expressions to meet the need of your project or your assignment right good so we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time
बाय